A very good morning viewers. Hello and welcome to the morning news show on CNN News 18 where we bring you the latest headlines and insightful stories to kickstart your day. I'm Kuina Sharma and let's begin. First up, we are discussing the countdown that has just begun for ISRO's next big solar mission. After the successful landing of the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft on the south pole of the moon, India is all set to launch its first solar mission, Aditya L1. Now, the spacecraft will be launched today at around 11.50 a.m. from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. Now, the launch mission aims to observe solar activities and their effects on space weather in real time. <coughs> It will be the first dedicated Indian space mission for the observations of the entire sun and its atmosphere. Now, the spacecraft would be launched by the PSLV C-57 rocket and the Aditya L-1 mission aims uh, at studying the sun from the orbit around the L-1 and that would carry seven different payloads that have been indigenously built in India to observe the photosphere, chromosphere and the outer, outermost layer of the sun named Corona now uh, in different wave bands. Today the countdown for uh, PSLV C-57 Aditya L1 mission is starting and tomorrow noon time we will have the launch that's at 11.50. Then it will take almost an hour for the satellite to reach the required location and inject. Uh, so the Aditya L1 satellite is for studying our sun. And uh, it will take 100, another 125 days, 125 days to travel from Earth to reach the point where the satellite will look at sun, called L1 point. So I came here to pray for to Changalamba Rameshwari for getting us the strength for making this launch again. Very important launch, successful. Professor Jagdesh Singh with me and you have worked for more than two decades with the beginning of Aditya, the sun mission itself. Yes. Was it a mission impossible? Uh, it now making, it, making it possible now? Uh, it was a dream to begin with, but uh, it has become possible because of the hard work done by the team. And Professor Raghavinda Prashad led the team and he continuously worked on that project and beginning to begin with itself, I have to work hard to convince the management that this project is important. Talking about a project, just one week after Chandrayaan 3 hmm. has landed on the moon, now we are reaching for the sun uh, with Aditya. Yeah. But if I can ask you, what do we expect in terms of understanding this for the common person or anybody, I, I understand scientifically you want to understand how the sun works, the, even the work that is done by Indian Institute of Astrophysics, is, the payload is one of the most important one on this mission. But for the common man, as we would like to connect with people, what would they get to understand or know from this? Uh, the, connect, uh, you see one thing, it is, is one thing is general public, hmm. another is, thing is student community. Let's do the general public first. What do they gain from this? Uh, so, you are talking only about general public. Yes. I am talking about students also. We will get to the <laughs> students because you have trained so many of them. But uh, you are making a very interesting observation uh, student, about mobile uh, not technology. Student, student, okay. And that students, I am talking about the school students. Yes. And they, they are eager to know what... Scientific uh, temper. Increasing scientific, uh, scientific temper. Uh, uh, scientific temper. They want to know what is the nature. They learn a lot of know. And general public, if you are talking about the general public, then uh, you see a lot of appliances people use it, even a rickshaw puller or even a anybody, hmm. even a person who earns uh, their meal with the hard difficulty, they have the mobile phone Correct. and they use the facility. Correct. This facility is the technology development, hmm. and this facility came up not for the gen thinking of the general public, sure. they came because of the space technology. Yes. When you want to send any satellite or any experiment, weight has to be less, the volume has to be less, sure. so that you can launch it. Okay. So that, well, byproducts are many, mm. which come in the, because of the space technology. Mm. Even if you talk of uh, some disabled person, mm. Previously, disabled person was using heavy 
uh, gears or mm. heavy instruments to walk now around. Now it's become that. very lightweight. And they have become lightweight. Right. It is all because of this uh, space technology. This is the byproduct of the space technology. Absolutely. So VLC also we have developed lot of technology, which will be, have a, their own byproduct. Mm. And let us talk of the mirror of the VLC M1. That we tried to procure from many agencies. Mm. But finally, it was produced in house, Indigenous, yes. indigenously. Since uh, the requirement was very stiff, very difficult to achieve it. Finally, our scientists have been able to achieve it. Our engineers have been able to achieve it. See, I'm very much excited because my husband is a project scientist for Aditya L1. So he worked for SUIT, which is Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope, which is one payload in this Aditya L1. So it is his seven years of hardship. We all uh, were part of it because uh, he was in Pune and we were in Manipal. So my uh, so he left to Pune when she was six months old. So it is uh, his seven years of hardship. So that's why we all of us are excited to watch that event. That's why we are here. I hear a lot about uh, about Aditya. I have heard a lot about Aditya. His struggles. I mean, it's his uh, team struggle, all of this thing I have heard. Everybody on the earth is counting on technology just to have electricity in their homes and businesses, to have communications like you and I are talking to each other now, even to have, you know, navigation for your car and all, all the rest of it. We are counting on uh, a really complicated, interconnected, global electric and data system. And so the electromagnetic energy that comes from the sun is both uh, a benefit to that, but also a huge threat to that. And so putting a, a new sensor in between us and the sun, that it is looking specifically at how the sun sends out these big damaging uh, ejections of, of, uh, of high energy particles, it's it's really useful information, not just for ISRO and, and not just for, obviously, the Indian space uh, program, but it's something that is sort of vital, space weather for the world. Well, India's mission to the sun and its understanding is all set to launch today. Now, let's take a look at on how this is actually going to take place and what are the pertinent factors that we need to keep in mind. Well, India's mission to Sun uh, will take about 100 days to reach the halo orbit. It's because the L1 gets a continuous unhindered view of the Sun and the points can be used as a parking spot for the entire spacecraft to remain in a fixed position with minimal fuel consumption. Now, uh, this spot, the Lagrange point one, is basically 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. Now, this is almost four times the travel time and the uh, uh, distance from what Chandrayaan is actually placed at the moment. Now, named after the rising sun, uh, the Aditya L1 will cover its journey to the L1 point in a matter of around four months. Now, this satellite uh, weighs nearly about 1500 kgs and it is uh, about to reach the L1 point with seven payloads on board. Now, these seven payloads, it's pertinent to note, that have been indigenously developed in India. Five of these payloads have been developed by ISRO itself.